Hello? Hello. <laughs> Is your name Mixa? Hi, girl. I'm <laughs> you changed your outfit and everything when you when I first saw you. Yeah, I was I was not ready. Okay, Madison, where are you calling us from, honey? I'm calling from Tampa, Florida. I'm 23 and I'm a Gemini. Ooh, child, you ready? 23 mm -hmm. Gemini. What do you do for a living? I'm a manager at Racetrack. Okay, manager at Racetrack. Do you have any kids? No kids. No kids. Um, so Madison, Tampa, Florida, 23 Gemini, manager at Racetrack, no kids. What kind of man are you looking for, mama? Well, I like um, a God-fearing man. I know a lot say that, but someone that believes in Jesus. And um, um, I like, I'm sorry, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> um, someone just genuine and, um, and found themselves, I guess, as a man first, because I feel like a lot of like the men, they struggle with, you know, finding themselves or who they are as a man and they get in relationships and even women too. And they end up breaking each other more. So just someone level headed. Um, and either I do have a preference. I do like black men and Spanish men or mixed. So that's my What's preference. Madison. I'm Polish. Well, Polish. white, European, white. So you don't say, I'm sorry, say one more time. Well, white, European, white, Polish. White, European, Polish. But you prefer black men or Hispanic men? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Anything else? Um. Well, no, I don't really have anything i'm just really nervous i'm sorry <laughs> well let's go to the deal breakers what's your deal breakers oh so my deal breakers i would just have to say like obviously lying but um lying probably multiple kids with different women um and not and not having like a consistent job I would say. So those are like some deal breakers for me. All right. You got to have a job. No lying. We already got to look. So you said you want a black man or Hispanic man. Is there a appearance look that you like that are black men and Hispanic men? Yeah, I like beards. They don't have to be like super tall or six feet. Everybody just taller than me. So I'm like five, four, five, five. So if you're like five, six, five, seven, like that's okay with me. Okay. So yeah, just like beard, someone taller than me, someone that, um, you know, cares about their health, like certain things they eat or a little bit of exercise, like nothing too excessive, but you know, just someone that has a moral compass, like in genuine and we can talk and I can tell you, you know, just certain things and you can tell me certain things, but in a safe space, and we agreed not to use it against each other. You so, say very mature for a 23 year old. Yeah, June 5th, 2000. I just, I've been through a lot. Okay, okay. Um, just, um, no, not saying you have to, just curious. Would you date a man of your ethnicity or you just prefer black men and Hispanic men? No, I would be open to it because I don't want to put limitations on love, but I would, I'll be open. Okay. What about money, girl? He got to make a certain amount of money. Oh, no, he just has to be self-sufficient, like with himself. If he can hold his own, I'm just like a plus and can help and we can build. But nothing like, you know. I think you might have mentioned this earlier. You said you don't mind if he has kids? Um, I would. Yes, I mind if it's more than like one. I could do one. I could do, do one. one. I could deal with one kid. Mm -hmm. You can deal with one kid. Okay, she can deal with one kid. All right, let's do the Kendrick can. Let's see this body, Madison girl. Okay, hold on. I have to prop you up somewhere better. Let's see this. I, I like your outfit. You, you definitely got one. Yeah. 
<laughs> you got black girl body, Madison. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I say to me, Caucasian girls as thick as you, child. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just glad God bless me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, you gotta say. All right, what was your last relationship? About a year. About Excuse a year me one ago. second. <laughs> I apologize. I'm under the weather. There's so much going on. Okay, when was your last relationship? About a year ago. A year ago. A little close to a year. Yeah. A little close to a year, okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? I'll pass. No worries. Yeah. What are three flaws you have to work on? Who me? I'm just gonna be honest. Like, I, I, I'm a little jealous. I can get jealous. Um, I'm impulsive, so like, I almost like run off emotions and I'm aware of it. So I'm definitely dealing with that because at the end I just disappoint myself. Um, one more flaw I would say is um, probably trusting too easy and not trusting myself enough. Trusting too easy, not trusting yourself enough. Okay. Yeah. And um, what's the age range you would date? Mm, 28 to probably 46, 45. You would go over, but you want to go, you want to go 20 years older. Mm -hmm. Well, no, 20. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me why. Um, honestly, I don't know if it's because my dad had me at such an older age. So I always seen like an, an older figure or if I was just exposed to sexual things too young and maybe that's why i like men older that are mature so i don't really know like the deep root of that but um it's just something i'm attracted to okay okay so you had a you said you're 23 so you went through some things as a child you probably shouldn't have went through are you saying yeah okay have you gone to therapy to unpack yeah, the mm -hmm. okay I've been in therapy. yeah Okay, we don't gotta get all the details. All right, do you wanna get, um, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Well, I just have a big heart and um, I'm passionate, you know, and I'll give you my last. And um, I just, I'll match what you put in this time for myself. Like, I'm not gonna just overflow somebody because that's what I wanna do and I admire them so much because i came up with this idea of how i view them but that's not how they really are as a person and i had to keep going through certain things to realize that like i love this person so much but really if i sit back it's the idea i made of them of the things they presented in the beginning and then it ended up not being really what it was like they portrayed you know how it is especially from my experience like with older men in the beginning they'll impress you impress you and tell you things and then i guess when they feel like they got you they just don't put as in much effort um but i do also keep in mind like the era they come from or how they were raised and stuff so me personally like with with my experience and how i grew up i would i would want to be i would need to be with somebody that had a stable foundation like with their parents and came up in a stable home or it could be someone that maybe didn't, but they dealt with it more than I have. Because I'm only 23, so I'm still, like, learning and, and processing a lot of things. And, you know, so does that answer I your question? Say, I you kind of rumble a lot. You are very mature for your age. Very. Yeah. Um, okay. But it does say in the word, with great wisdom comes great sorrow. So just because, like... I'm mature, I know what to do, or, or even on the outside looking in, when people look at me, she has it together, she's beautiful, she's this, she's that. But it doesn't, it's still a lot of pain on the inside, you know? Yeah, no, so. I can only imagine, I can only imagine. So, um, yeah, I don't feel like I'm talking to a 23-year-old, um, you know, to be honest. Let me ask you this question. Do you want to get married? Is that the goal eventually for you? Yes. What qualities do you think make you a wife? 
Um, willing to submit, I feel like is one quality that I have. Um, also, I'm a nurturer and I want to have kids, like a whole football team if I could. But it just has to be with the right person. Yes. So, I got the hip score, so. Ah, she said she got the hip score. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Do, do you want the guy to be in Tampa, Florida? No, just in the United States. Okay, just in the United States. Oh, just in the United States. So he can be anywhere, but he got to be here. <laughs> Let's do it. So we got Madison, Tampa, Florida, 23, a manager. Uh, where are you a manager at again? Racetrack? Racetrack, yes. Racetrack. She has no kids. She does want kids. Um, she'll date 28 to 46. How can the guy reach out to you, boo? Um, my Facebook, it's Madison Klimzak, M-A-D-I-S-O-N, and then Klimzak, K-L-I-M-S and Michael, Z-A-K. And, there you and have it's it. a picture of me and my niece. So I have nieces and a nephew, so I don't have no kids. That's a picture so of me and my niece. Which platform do you prefer? I only have Facebook. All right, so spell it one more time. Give it to them one more time. Madison, M-A-D-I-S-O-N, and then Klimzak is my last name. So K-L-I-M-S and Michael, Z-A-K. And there you have it. All right, boo, will you keep me posted? I will go, honey. Thank you. All right, bye, baby. Bye, Kendra.